Your Excellency, Madam Samia Sulu Hassan. Mweshimiwa Mama Samia Sulu Hassan. President of the Republic of Tanzania. Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. The first gentleman and all Tanzanian government officials and citizens present here and all over the world. Wakuu nchi na serikali wote mliopo mahala hapa. Your Excellencies, fellow heads of state and government here present. Wakuu wa nchi na serikali wote mliopo mahala hapa. Your Excellencies, former heads of state and government here present. Wakuu wa nchi na serikali wote mliopo hapa. Madam Janet Makpuli, former First Lady of Tanzania and surviving widow of late President John Pombe Joseph Makfuli. Mama Janeti Magufuli, mke wa hayati Dr. John Joseph Pombe Magufuli. Together with all members of the bereaved family. Pamoja na wanafamilia wote. Ladies and gentlemen. Mabibi na mabwana. Pole sana. Pole ni sana. 166 days ago, President John Pombe Magfuli and I had dinner together at the state residence in Dar es Salaam. Siku zilizo siku za hapo nyuma mimi pamoja na Rais Magufuli tulikutana ikulu hapo Dar es Salaam. But I did not know that it would be our last supper. Lakini sikujua kama ingelikuwa ndio mara yetu ya mwisho kukutana. The following day he saw me off the apron of Julius Nyerere International Airport. Siku iliyofuata alinisindikiza mpaka uwanja wa ndege wa Julius Nyerere wa kimataifa. But I did not know that it would be our last. Lakini sikujua kama ndio ingelikuwa mara yetu ya mwisho kuonana. Today I join you all in a state of shock and grief. Leo ninaungana nanyi katika hali ya majonzi na huzuni. Representing not just myself but all the peoples of Malawi. Nikiwawakilisha watu wote wa Malawi. At the passing of one of Africa's finest sons. Because none of us saw it coming. This ability to let no one see his next move coming which we will be, we find unsettling in death, is also what we find inspiring in life. When they said laziness and sloth in public service cannot be cured, they did not see Magfuri coming. Alikuwa akipambana na uvivu pale palipoonekana dalizo zote za uvivu ungemwona magufuli akiingilia kati. When they said the cartels of corruption strangling Africa's governments cannot be defeated, they did not see magufuli coming. When they said African states cannot become middle income economies within a single presidential term. Eh, they naka, didn't see Magufuli coming. Na watu walivyokuwa kisema Africa haiwezi kufikia uchumi wakati wakashuhudia kwamba ndani ya kipindi cha miaka mitano tu inchi inafikia uchumi wakati. When they said infrastructural projects in Africa cannot be completed on time and on budget Na waliposema kwamba miradi mikubwa ya miundo mbinu haiwezi kukamilishwa kwa wakati na kwa bajeti mwafaka they did not see Magufuli coming. Hawakumuona Magufuli kwamba anaweza kulifanya hilo. When they said the only way to pursue our development na walipos, waliposema njia pekee ya kufikia maendeleo yetu is to follow failed prescriptions of foreign financial institutions kwamba ni lazima tufuate maelekezo ya taasisi za kimataifa ambayo maelekezo yenyewe yameshindwa that have left africa more impoverished and in debt than they found it 
na maelekezo hayo ambayo tumekuwa tukipokea kutoka taasisi za kifedha kimataifa yameacha Afrika ikiwa imeumizwa na madeni mazito naitwa maskini magufuli kame hawakujua kwamba magufuli atakuja to us who had the privilege of knowing the unpredictable magufuli na kwetu sisi ambao tulipata fursa ya kumuona huyu rais magufuli ambaye hakuweza kutabilika the example of his life of service shall no, never be a launching shall ever forever be a launching pad of our own na maisha yake ya utumishi wa mfano itakuwa ni itabaki kwenye kumbukumbu yetu to us who have the honor of going through this world as africans na sisi ambao tumekuwa na heshima ya kuishi hapa ulimwenguni kama wa afrika Mark Fuller's love of country shall forever be a light on that pilgrimage. Mapenzi ya Rais Magufuli kwa nchi yake itakuwa ndio mwanga katika safari yetu kama wa Afrika. To us who have been entrusted with governing the nations of our beautiful and rich continent, nasi tuliopewa bahati ya kupewa dhamana ya kuendesha mataifa yetu katika bara hili tajiri. Magfuli's leadership shall forever move us out of complacency. Na uongozi wa Magufuli na mfano wake utaendelea kutuweka na kutondolea uzembe. It is right for us to hold him in this regard. Ni vyema kwetu kumchukulia mheshimiwa Magufuli katika mwelekeo huu. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli was not just an icon. Mheshimiwa John Pombe Magufuli hakuwa tu nyota. He was a hero. Alikuwa ni shujaa. May his name be preserved in every capital of Africa. Na jina lake sasa lihifadhiwe katika makabati yote ya Afrika. As a symbol of the kind of resolve that will create the Africa we want. Kama alama ya uamuzi thabiti utakaopelekea kuipata Afrika tunayohitaji. May his work be venerated in every village as an example of worthy of our imitation. Na maneno yake sasa yafuatwe katika kila eneo, katika vijiji vyetu, tufuate mfano wake. And may his soul rest in eternal peace. Na roho yake ipumzike kwa amani. As he meets with his God na atakapokwenda mbele za Mungu, with whom we hope to one day see Mark fully coming. Nasi tu, siku moja tutaweza kumuona Magufuli. Madam President, we will stand with you. Mheshimiwa Rais, tutasimama pamoja na wewe. Tanzanians, Malawians will stand with you. Wa Tanzania na watu wa Malawi watakuunga mkono. My friend Kwaheri ndugu yangu. Rafiki yangu, Kwaheri ndugu yangu. My deepest condolences to you all. Natoa pole zangu za dhati kabisa kwenu.